Hi, this is Ethan from Combat Radio with a look at Sleepy Hollow. Directed by Tim Burton and based on the story by Washington Irving, which is fantastic. A lot of people have taken a crack at this. Walt Disney did in the 50s with Bing Crosby. Jeff Goldblum played Ichabod Crane in the early 80s. This attempt was put together by effects ace Kevin Yeager and screenwriter Andrew Kevin Walker of Seven. They created the dynamic that Crane wasn't a school teacher from Connecticut, but a police inspector from New York, which works really well for the film. The script made its way to Tim Burton's office. Burton, when he was at Cal Arts, had a teacher who actually worked on the original Headless Horseman classic for Walt Disney, specifically on the pursuit scene to the bridge. That created the spark not only for this, but for a lot of Burton's work in the future. Depp was always the first choice for this. He originally wanted to do the role with the help of prosthetics, prosthetic ears, nose, prosthetic limbs, arms. Tom Stoppard was brought in to do a rewrite, an uncredited rewrite. He'd worked on Shakespeare in Love, and he added a lot of the wit, comedy, and increased sort of the love dynamic between Crane and Van Tassel. And when Stoppard put those elements in, that mixed with Depp's sensibilities and acting skills, I think created the opportunity to execute what they wanted to execute within the framework of the performance without the help of the prosthetics. Depp had also said that he had based his performance on Basil Rathbone's work in Sherlock Holmes. And if you take anything away from this, take the recommendation to see those movies. They are brilliant, particularly House of Fear, Terror by Night, and The Scarlet Claw, my three favorites. Those were also directed by Roy William Neal, who I think, well, I wouldn't be surprised to find out, was a big Burton influence as well. Christopher Walken plays the Hessian who loses his head, becomes the Headless Horseman. He's helped in the performance by Ray Park, who you know is Darth Maul. I've done some radio work with him. He's epic. Score is done by Danny Elfman. And our friend, Steve Bartek, the former guitarist for Oingo Boingo, is the orchestrator on it. Sleepy Hollow. See it. It's fun.